just in case if you want to know what lipstick I'm wearing, I'm wearing NARS lipstick in the shade Charlotte. Hey, what up you guys? It's your girl Chrissy, back with another concert video. So, about a year ago, maybe two, was it two? No, a year ago, I did a video that is what to do at a concert or no concert tips i did a video about concert tips and i decided now that it's almost the end of concert season more kind of the peak of concert season i want to do 10 things to bring to a concert so if you want to watch the concert tips video first, you can go and ahead and click the link below in the description box. Or if you want to watch that video in the end, just wait until the end of this video to click it as the final like end screen card. I don't know where it's going to be either here or here. All I know is that the circle right here is going to be my subscribe button. Okay, first things first. I'm the realist. Sorry, had to do that. Is to bring, the type of bag to bring is a messenger bag. Usually the bag I bring is the bag I do in the, that I showed in the what's in my bag video. Which I will also link to if you want to see that bag. Second thing is a wallet. You don't need to bring a big wallet, just like a little one is fine, or even a, what are, what are those called? They're like wristlets that are wallets, but also hold the phones. Wrist, phone wristlets? I don't know, whatever those are called. But I would say to bring your license, or any form of ID, just in case of anything, some cash because you don't because I don't know if you're gonna go to a place or buy something that's cash only so I would say bring not a lot of cash because just in case of anything but bring a good amount and also bring your card like your credit or debit card whichever one you have because you don't know if there's something you want to buy and they only take cards so just don't put a lot in your wallet. Okay, third thing is, I mentioned before, your phone. Your phone, you want to take pictures, probably want to Snapchat things, but your phone, and you have to bring it just in case of an emergency too, like, knock on wood, what if something happens either to you or to one of your friends or family members, whoever you're bringing to a concert with, you need to have your phone. Okay, the fourth one is for the ladies. Bring a little compact mirror to touch up your makeup a little bit because if you put on a lot of makeup or even a little bit or even if you want to do your makeup like at the show, like before you enter, go ahead and do that. But don't put a ton of makeup on, really says the girl who wore 800 pounds of makeup to the Chainsmokers concert. Ugh, really? But also, along with that category, bring a tiny perfume bottle. It's like, you know those little sample ones? Not like this, like the really tiny ones like you'll get in those like paper forms. I don't know what they're called, but some type of perfume to smell nice. Bring well, number five, bring a compact mirror that also has a brush because if your hair is down and you want it to look nice and straight or if you have your hair up and you want to brush that too because sometimes when you're sweaty and you're dancing, your hair gets all tangled up and not so pretty and you kind of need to brush it out. Speaking of the hair, number six, hair elastics because you never know when your hair is down at a concert, you're really sweaty and you feel disgusting 
And especially if you're outside too, this is what I recommend. If you're at an outside concert, put your hair up because I don't know like how hot it's going to be or is in your city, but I recommend hair elastics. They're very helpful. Trust me on that. Number seven, headphones. So you need headphones because if you go somewhere, like at the venue by public transportation, say a bus, an Uber, a train, something like that, and you're by yourself, or even with a friend, like bring headphones like to listen to music. What I do is usually when I go to concerts, I take the train, especially if I'm going into the city, but if I'm not going into the city, I use a car. But I'm saying for the train, for example, I usually go to meet my friend, I go by myself. So I have my headphones on, I listen to that music, but only to that specific artist because it gets you more hyped up and more like excited. And when I'm with my friend, we share the headphones and we listen to that artist and the both of us get even more hyped up. So headphones, they can be useful. Number eight, <laughs> your tickets. Your tickets are the most important thing. You could not, you can never ever ever forget that. I have a story, I went to Atlantic City to see The Wanted, literally one of my favorite brands ever. I'm so sad that they're not together anymore, but hey, it's okay, it's okay. Anyways, I was at the hotel, I went with my grandmother to the show, we got to the venue, which was at another hotel, and, but we couldn't stay at that hotel because it was packed and it, all the rooms were taken. But we went to a hotel that was like a couple blocks, so it wasn't that bad. So we got to the venue, we were literally one of the first people to enter so we gave they put on these wristbands on us so we can be early access because it was the show about two or three days before my birthday and i was wearing a birthday crown so they gave us the early access into the venue type of wristbands so they were like okay we need to see your tickets too I was, I looked at my grandmother and I said, okay, you have the tickets. And she's like, I thought you did. And I was like, no, I gave them to you. So she was looking in her bag, freaking out. I was looking in my bag, freaking out. And I told the lady, I'm sorry, but can I run back to the hotel to get the tickets? And she was like, because it's your birthday, I'll let you do that. It's okay. So I went back, got the tickets. Everything was all set, thank God we entered, and that story, <laughs> every time I say it, people don't believe me, but trust me, it happened. <laughs> oh, so you got a little story time, cool. Oh, number nine, second to last thing, a portable charger. That is important too, because knock on wood, what if you're like recording or taking pictures of your favorite song or a video? I don't know, but what? Because I think of the what ifs, I'm like, I don't want to be recording my favorite song and then all of a sudden my phone <laughs> die. That was loud. I do not want that to happen. So if I'm at a concert and I see my phone go at 20%, plug it in, and I'm good. Now, the last thing, number 10, a jacket. Usually I bring a light jacket just in case of anything because who knows if it will be chilly that night, who knows like if it'll start raining, but I suggest, especially if it's the summer, bring like a thin one, something like this, but also have a little hood, because again, what if it rains? Or what if you're really cold, like you need to cover up? Or if you're going to a concert 
and it's like the fall or winter and you're in a place kind of like New England where it always snows or is always freezing, bring a thicker one. I know you're going to be sweating at concerts and you don't want to put a jacket afterwards, but guys, it is very, very important too. Sorry, wicked, because I'm Boston, no, Bostonian. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Also, give it a thumbs up if you love concerts and you love going to them just like I do. And as I said earlier on in the video, if you want to go and you want to see my concert tips video, I will put that either here or here. And also, with my messenger bag video, like the what's in my bag video, I will put that either here or here. And tap the notification bell to... What does the notification bell do? Oh yeah, <laughs> notification bell. That is to alert when I post my videos on Fridays. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Love you guys, and I'll see you next Friday, or even at a concert in Boston. Bye.